today what I'm going to be doing is testing the range on my fuel piece smart probes just to see how far of a range I got one of my complaints on this tool is that I don't know why it would, I should I, oh I shouldn't complain yet I haven't tried it but what I would like to do for a situation like here I got two circuits suction suction have them both just testing suction I don't even care I mean I could just put the one liquid on that but then it's gonna say there's a problem or whatever but all in all that's what I wish I could do was two suctions on it, but I know that's not the proper way of testing and all that crap. But if you think about it, you're doing a maintenance on an old machine. Why does it matter? I mean, I'm only here for a filter change. Since I had two hours up on this roof. It's calling. Now, I'm going to see how far across this roof I'm going to get. Get my iPad. door. Nothing to see here folks. Keep moving. It's just the door. Caught by my disconnect which happens. my time with those needle moves. Like a dumbass, I put them down. Still connected, no problems. Alright. Go down. We're now 75 feet. Still connected. Dropping in and out. Temperature probe just bugged out. Temperature probes bugged out all of a sudden. And they're back on. Let's go to 100 feet. See, they have 100. So right now I'm 
100 feet from the machine. It's still connecting to Superheat's a little low, but I'm not gonna care about that too much right now. It's an old machine. It's been working, why screw it? 125, there's my next marking. I have 250 feet to the edge of the roof. We're at 247, whatever. 25, let's go to the 150 marker. 150. line tool I lost all the tools except for the one temperature clamp uh, both temperature clamps are on I'm just not reading pressures at this point boom it's back So 175 still works. It's cutting in and out. It's a little less than the 350 feet that field piece says this is good for. Yet, I believe it also will depend on the signal, the Bluetooth signal, the device you're using has. But we're still connected. All right, let's see how far this device switch is, goes to because I'm already losing it. My 200 feet is here and this is my last marker because then it just becomes kind of grimy. But, okay, I lost all my tools at 200 feet. reading the suction probe but at 200 feet I've lost everything so 200 feet away from my machine and I'm reading it again okay let's go to the edge which is like 47 is right on the 50 mark boom gone let's see if I stop here we'll come back let's go to the edge so, here I am, all the way in the back, my machine's over there, 250 feet away from my machine, and I am reading pressures, sort of, yeah, I'm reading pressures, the superheat might be a little low because somebody's probably overcharged this thing. I'm just here for a filter change, so the tools are dropping in and out. I'm at 250 feet. Hold on, let's switch devices. Let's see if my iPhone 7 is better than this old iPad. So I switched to my iPhone. I got pressures, I got temp up. Gotta put this to R22. There we go. Still at the edge of the roof. And I'm reading pressures. That's pretty impressive. 250 feet away, and I'm still reading. Remember, there's nothing obstructing me, though. No cement walls, there's nothing in the way, just air. But here I am, I'm reading pressures on a machine. That is a little overcharged, it looks like. But I gotta look at the history. It might have a leak. Somebody may have gassed it. Who knows? But I mean, that's pretty cool. I do wish I had the air tools now because then I would reach from most attics outside to get the readings on here and everything. 
Not bad, not bad, 250 feet. So far I'm impressed with these little things. Too soon to give a full review on them, but I'm doing little bits and pieces of videos just showing what it could do because these are my new gauges. And I'm impressed. I'm not gonna say go out and buy them because I can't tell you they're great yet. I can't say they're better than Testos. I haven't used the Testos or anybody else's. So that you're gonna have to decide on your own, but I am so far impressed with this. And I was never a field piece fan. I gotta say that. Anybody sees me on Facebook or anywhere, I'm always bashing face. Well, I've been bashing face, but I mean, feel peace. <laughs> but these little guys have impressed me, and so is the little feel peace micron gauge I just bought. So now I'm going to go back. I mean, I got one 2020 filter inside, and I'm done here. It's only 9.17. I have to be here till 10 o'clock, so... Guys, have fun. I'm Bill. Well, I know I've been talking with a couple guys, some with Testo, some with these. A lot of people are telling me that the other app is better, the Measure Quick. And just so far, I don't like it. Update. Every time I go to turn it on, it wants to update. And then, I don't know, the job link just looks nice. This thing looks like it's a friggin' half-ass friggin' not complete app this measure quick thing maybe i'm using it wrong but i mean i'm looking at like fake gauges and stuff instead of just showing me numbers show me what i want to see like oh, 22 it's not showing me pressures it's not showing me anything settings fahrenheit us See, go back to four ten. We must have shut off three hundred fifty. I don't remember him being that high. <laughs> they turned off though, but we're really looking at three hundred fifty now. I know I gotta play with it and see, but I'm hoping. All right, so you guys can school me on what I'm doing wrong, but I just, I pushed this, I activated, and I wanna go home. Now it's showing me this, which is not my tests. Well, I want, I want it to work right away. I turn it on, I don't care about any of this stuff. I just want it to friggin' work. I don't care about this. I don't want to put my info in. I just want my freaking gauges to work. So, boom. Activate, exit project, cancel. No, I want to see what's going on. Project manager. I mean, this looks like garbage. I don't know. Everybody talks about how good this is. I like how the job like work looks. 281, 95 degrees. See that, but I kind of like how the job. I really like how the job works. I mean, for those guys who have told me I gotta use this, can you please tell me like a better way to use it? Because I'm not. All I want is results. I don't want to set up jobs and all that stuff on. That's why I see for me. This is all I want to see. I don't care about anything else. All I want to see is this stuff. That's it. So, that's all I want to know. I need to know numbers. I want to know what my tests are like on my test those. They were, this is what, what I saw. This was it. None of that other stuff because I didn't have apps or anything. It was just Tesco 550s. And my results are in front. It's all I care about. But I gotta play around with that other app and see because a lot of people did talk really good on it. For me though, this is just maybe that's why I like Apple. It just works. I don't gotta customize or anything. This stuff just works right off, right out of the box. 
I'm Bill. Thanks for watching. I hope this video justified my purchase, but you never know. But so far, I am impressed, dudes. Guys, take care, dudes and dudettes. If there's any women watching this, I'm sure there are, because I notice when I look at the analytics, there are a few. Let me know what, like, your problem. Somebody just told me that he had an issue with the measure quick and went to an update and then all of a sudden the whole thing went down. He had to send a new warranty. The disappointment is one year warranty on a, on a product 300 bucks like this. Come on, field these. You should get five years. I know I'm asking too much, but if you take care of it, keep them in the cases. I use them on the machines I'm working on. I'm using them in all conditions, I understand, but still. These are, yeah, tools are expensive. I spend a lot of money on my tools. I don't want to freaking replace these things often, but whatever. I'm done bitching. I'm being a little bitch right now. Alright, guys. Have a happy Thursday. Or whatever day you finally get to watch this.